Hello everybody, my name is Paul Chaloner. I'm the VP of Network Product Solutions for Ericsson. I'm responsible for radio technology in North America. And I'm here in Plano, Texas at our Ericsson North American headquarters and proud to announce today an Ericsson first. Today we completed the first call of CBRS using 5G NR in a standalone mode. That's the world's first. But what is CBRS and why is it important? So CBRS Citizens Radio Broadband Service is 150 megahertz of spectrum from 3.55 to 3.7 gigahertz that we have licensed here in the US. And it's a three tier shared licensing model. What does that mean? The first tier is the incumbents, the Department of Defense, they are protected. The second tier are generally authorized access users. Everyone can use that spectrum and it's controlled by the Spectrum Access System or SAS that makes sure sharing is done fairly. The third layer is the priority access license. That was auctioned last year and has recently gone into service, and that is a license-like capability within the band. So those three tiers make this a unique capability. It's 150 megahertz that we use for innovation. So what are the use cases? There are three main ones. Firstly, mobile network offload. So ex existing operators can use and combine CBRS with their existing spectrum as a turbo boost or capacity augment. Secondly, fixed wireless access. CBRS provides a very effective fixed wireless solution delivering hundreds of megabits per second, ideally in a rural or suburban environment. Thirdly, private networking. Whether it's indoor coverage or IoT capabilities, or for example, in our factory, our 5G factory at Louisville, Texas, just around the road, we use that for our manufacturing capability. These and many more represent the capabilities of CBRS operating in more than 140,000 CBRS base stations around the country. But what are we showing today? So behind me, we're using a number of radios. So the 4408 is the Ericsson radio for CBRS. We're using that, connecting to a device in the car park. And then we made our first call today. Then we did a carrier aggregation with C-band. So C-band was auctioned at the end of the last year. It's 3.7 gigahertz. That's operating together with the 6449 Ericsson radio you see in the top corner. And thirdly, we provided capability to hand over between LTE and 5G in both directions. And we use the AWS band to demonstrate that. All of these capabilities combined allow us to start the journey to bring CBRS to the 5G world and migrate the use cases and ecosystem to the 5G environment to enjoy the benefits of 5G, reduce latency, improve performance, and advanced capabilities like network slicing. All of this we consider very significant for the CBRS industry to spur on innovation in the US. Thanks very much.